Hi, this is Barry Whistler here to talk to you today about HarvestNet's value for the kingdom of God. The kingdom is one of the most important themes of the Bible in both Testaments. In the Old Testament, God was proclaimed as king, but the prophets talked of a time that God would become king in all the earth, in all nations. They spoke about this age and the one to come. God was king and God was going to become king. Jesus then came preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God being at hand and that it was already present. A kingdom implies a king and a domain of rule. When Jesus came, the kingdom came in him as king. For Christians, the kingdom of God must be an all-encompassing in all of life. Jesus is Lord over all. So we cannot settle for a Christianity about us and not let Jesus or the kingdom take over our lives. He's not a half king over a half kingdom. We also believe that the kingdom is here already on the earth. It is not a future destination. Jesus said that the kingdom is among you. It is in our midst and is at hand, means it's in motion. The kingdom of God is central to Christ's teachings about our purpose for living here on the earth. The gospel that Jesus preached was the gospel of the kingdom, not just one of personal salvation or forgiveness. Certainly includes that, but that just allows us to enter the kingdom. Jesus announced the coming of the kingdom and used signs like healing and deliverance to demonstrate the power of his kingdom. This is also what he trained the first disciples to do and then the 70 that he sent out and wants us to fulfill also today. After his resurrection, he spent 40 days until his ascension talking about the kingdom of God. He obviously wanted his disciples to really get it. They thought it meant freedom from Rome. Unfortunately, many believers today don't understand the kingdom of God either. We put kingdom in front of many things, many words like kingdom business, kingdom music, kingdom jewelry, but many cannot really define the kingdom. Many talk about it, but have never seen it. The natural man does not see the kingdom without revelation. But today, God is revealing much about his kingdom to his people. The Bible says that good news of the kingdom will be preached as a testimony in all the nations, and then the end will come. HarvestNet believes the kingdom of God is already among us. It's being established on the earth. We pray as Jesus taught that the kingdom would continue to come here on the earth. We can't see heaven just as a destination only, but God wants to colonize the earth with heaven. God is interested in the earth and ultimately his kingdom will prevail here. Jesus will be king over all the nations of the earth. All other kingdoms will fail. In fact, the shaking that we see now in our world has a purpose to reveal what can be shaken. But his kingdom will never shake. It will be the last kingdom standing. So we honor Jesus Christ as the worthy king and we surrender to the governing laws and values of the kingdom of God. We seek to take the kingdom from the secret place to every place. This starts with our personal time with him, but extends to every part of the culture around us. God is establishing kingdom character, kingdom culture in his people, and we are to love him, love people, and live obediently in his kingdom with an eternal focus. Ask God to show you the kingdom or show you more of the kingdom. Ask him to give you the kingdom and to help you enter into kingdom living. Regardless of your vocation or calling on the earth, we should all make the extension of the kingdom of God our primary work while we're here.